sweet. It must have been something you said. There you go. <laughs> You don't want right, to. You don't want to. Tell me how karaoke. La, 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 la. I'm in pain right now, so that karaoke right now is not even. It's not even blessings. But go to another segment of what's good Tampa, Tampa Bay. Bay. What's good, good Tampa Bay? What's up, y'all? We're back. Bay of Tampa. We still alive. Eight one third. That's right. I want to ask y'all a question. Is it really good in Tampa Bay right now? Because like two years ago, three years ago, we were the city of Tampa. It's actually really great right now. But right now, we got the Bucks three and three. We That's got not, the Lightning one and three. Now nah, fuck all that. We let's, got let's, the Tampa Bay. We just opened up our first five star hotel downtown. The addition. Ooh. Ooh. Ski. Now you're now number eight list celebs. I'm like motherfucker. Mm -hmm. All right. A list, bro. Bad Bunny gonna be here next week. A fucking list, bro. The first five star in Tampa. They uh. Remind me, what is his name? The dude that used to do all those crazy parties in New York back in the day where they used to be fucking in them in the hotel. In the, in the Mr. Club. C? He, he collided with the guy that does the Marriott. I don't want to be in Mr. C's hotel. Oh, what's, what's, the, that's not the name, the first, what's the name of the, they did a documentary on, on Netflix. About a hotel? They shut it down because of fucking insurance reasons or something like that. But um, man, they used to have nothing but crazy parties in there. All right, you gonna make me look it up. You're not talking about Epstein, right? No. no. Okay. No, 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 no. Epstein used to be there. Okay. Are you talking about Bill Clinton? <laughs> Prince Andrew. Uh, uh, dig him down there. <laughs> you got to dig him down there in five star hotels and they sit like this with legs wide open. And he called young girls over and say, "Come here, girl. Come on and dig him down there. I got some shit for you." Ian Schrager. Keys and dig them down dirty. So Schrager? Ian Schrager and the Marriott International collab to make that. But the person that I'm talking about is, um, um Where's this five-star hotel located? It's right there in downtown, literally right behind the Emily Arena. Right behind Emily. Yeah, right, like right there. It's literally right there in the same area as like all the, um, the high rises and stuff right there. So basically I won't be able to get into this hotel until you wear them damn yeah. uh, incredible hall. They do not allow black people in there at all. Oh. What about the work? No, I'm playing, I'm playing. Damn, at least the lady got to have some work. Bro, you saw my look at him just now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want to say, Lion Steve? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What's your waiting list? I looked at him like, what the hell? What's your waiting list? The old black ass. Yes. What's it called again? The addition. The addition. The addition, you won't be in that mofo. That's what they saying. Yeah, it's very hard to get in there. Hashtag um, even to even to like work in there. I, I know a couple people that I work with now that tried to to, to get in there as a job and they couldn't get in. Guan so, Guan, wow. you need a five star wow. resume to be in a five star hotel. Wow, wow. They want to see us back in the eighties. They want to see us back in the eighties. That's okay. That's where they made me at. But I'm getting it. So what's good, Tampa Bay, Steve? What well, else we got in Tampa? Well, what's good in Tampa Bay? Let me tell y'all what's good in Tampa Bay. So. Yesterday, Yesterday, we did an interview with Mike Wiley. Me and Callie over yep, here went and checked right. him out. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It was a definitely good interview. Matter of fact, let's take a quick break yeah, and so, so y'all can I'm see sorry. what's going on with that. Sorry, what? Studio 54. Oh, stop Studio playing. Studio 54. That's the guy I said, Ian Schrager. The, guy, the other guy was named was Steve Robel. That, oh. I, okay, yeah. So Ian Schrager is the one I said, and the, per, the person that um does the Marriott, they they went to they collabed together to make the addition. That's so they, I was right. So they're probably like gonna open up a club wow. within that. So that shit is insane. Like in there is like it's like the bathroom is somewhere you wanna live in. Wow. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like you like, want you want to eat off their floors type shit like that's how like exclusive that's how nice the fucking hotel is. Wow. I mean I I, I watched Pursuit of Happiness and he stayed. In Ooh, I just called it chill. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? No, that wasn't good. I don't you know say, but imagine like the one I'm that. talking about there where you want Pursuit to stay in there. You want like, to stay in the bathroom? He, like you want to like he. Will that's kind that's kind of like purpose. Will Smith didn't want he, he put the foot up. Yeah. And black right. He didn't want to stay in there. It's kind of like do rich people have rich shit smell? That's what I'm saying. That's what you want. No, it stinks because the food is nasty. Depends where you go, man. But I don't know. I don't want to smell like right? rich shit. First five star in yeah. Tampa. No, we gonna go check it out. Shout out we'll to go check it out. We'll go check it out. We'll go check okay. it out. I'm, I'm acting like hey, a valet. Hey, what you gonna be when you go there? I'm gonna be me. Hey, we're gonna be hey. VIP one day. I'm G. VIP. Yo, I'm Y'all coming up in there just with the king. Y'all ain't getting in. I'm uh, being there with the valet. You know what I'm saying? Your summer belt. Yeah, no, they gonna let me. What? Come on. That's how you get it. Yo, yo, real G, real G. Like Prince of King. I'm gonna be driving my in Austin Martins. I'm gonna pull up in a fucking horse and a camel. Oh, I can't wear it. Yeah. I just show I just show the smile at the lady at the front desk. How'd you go do? What? And he's got a he's got a hobble in there. I got you know what I mean? Hey, I just got I got do I got hobble. Hey, look like a sugar daddy with that cane. Yeah. Yeah. Powder. Powder. So we got so we got a five-star hotel. 
Steven, you know, Count this them. thing. We got five. We only got one five star. Hotel. How many four stars we got? Probably a lot. Okay, probably, yeah, because probably because a, a Marriott that's down there already is. Yeah, like probably a, f- a few. Two but uh, first five star. What's crazy is mm-hmm. I worked in it. Not even to sell y'all. I'm so sorry I'm doing this, but I'm not sorry. The back of that kitchen is disgusting. Allegedly. Oh wow. In the Marriott. Yes. Allegedly. Allegedly, if you guys. It came from me, man. It ain't come from these guys. It ain't come from. It ain't come from. Allegedly, I'm there and I'm telling you. Allegedly, right the Marriott. It's nice I, in that moment. I rent. I used to rent every it's time nice I used to be downtown. There. Every time you see yo, me and Louis, we yo we used to rent all that whole block and go down. Yeah, we'll get an what? F, bro, from, bro, bro, because. Y'all not, bro, y'all not up there all when bad. it comes to this. Yo, this, yo, bro. I ain't hey, no, no offense, nobody tell you, but back in my days, like ten years ago, yeah, that wasn't that long ago. You tell us, that's tell one of them strippers, one of them strippers, one of them strippers one of them you say, hey, yeah, yo, I got a room at the Marriott. You got drinks? Yeah, yo, what's crazy drink. is, what's crazy? A lot of our strip clubs in Tampa have very, very good dining. Yes, that's insane to yes. me. Like this, a lot of my friends. So my you, friends, like, so you taste pussy finger chicken wings. Are you telling me? <laughs> I am definitely not gonna say that. I, no, I plead the fifth one this year, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna say because not setting my ass up. I have had steaks at a, a steaks at a huge strip club. Do you know um, what the cooks do at strip clubs? What's, what's the one that's across from Odyssey? I have no idea, man. They watch girls strip club and they grab on their dick. Yeah, bro. They got scores, scores. That's what they grab on their dick as they watch girls dance and they wait for you to fuck up their view and be like, "What do you want? Some chicken wings? God damn, nigga! I want my dick." And then he go and shake the food up after he rub his dick. That was just a side, a side note. Bro, uh, 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 right. you just messing up for people. No, because I used to be a cook in the strip club. Hey, nobody I was a cook in the strip club. Me, man. I, I was heard. a cook oh, in the strip club. Cool. And I tell you what, <laughs> coming to the stage. What the, what the oh, oh, oh. <laughs> stay, I ain't cooking your goddamn chicken. Hey, put your purple Barney dance. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. My Barney uh, out. No, huh? let your beard grow out. I did let no, it grow no, out. Thing, like, hold this. It's no shame, my member. Bro, I'm an actor. I can't do that. Just do it. Yeah. Yo, yo. So you I got support, well, I got to talk to my agent. You don't support person. foundations? No, I do support my so foundations. So you just said no, no shave, no shave but, November. And the, but it's not November. Hey, wait, no shave November? It's coming up. Hey, I'm sure. Oh, that okay, for November, I won't shave. I want to see what, what you got. What about you, Callie? You're going to grow the beard out? Oh, it's, I ain't got one. Bro, I'm, hey, I'm still it's growing, all right, Callie, because you know I'm what like, I ain't I'm got, baby. baby. Oh, shit, I ain't got man. I got a Fu Manchu. You got a Fu Manchu? Well, at least you got hair in here. Like I said, Yo, he said that. We Nobody else said that shit. Yeah, mine looks like a Fu Manchu. You're like, damn. Yeah, damn. I mean, you see. I got the patches going. You got the patches, on. but it's okay. But I got good chin hair. You feel me? The you stash is always on point. You got the soul patch. You see what's going on. Soul. Hair on top of the head. And all that's that. it. That's it. What do you put in your hair? Nothing. Dang. Oh, Nathaniel, nice. my girl, shampoos it every once in a while. Shampoo but... my locks. Well. Real quick here, okay. we're gonna take a short intermission because, like I was telling, you, I don't want to drag out. Nah, we to... have for No, we did the interview. Hold on, we'll yeah. be right. But we'll be, we'll be right, right back. back. We want y'all to watch this video. Okay. Let's go. Yo, what's good, Tampa Bay? Your boy SD. Cali. My name is Mike. Uh, I'm the founder of Wiley Athletics. You can find me at underscore is just Mike. Put the Mike podcast on YouTube, WileyAthletics.com or dot org now. Uh, on any, if you're looking on Google, Safari, whatever you want to look at, that's my stuff. So yeah. So, good question. How long are you doing right now with Wiley? So I train high level athletes uh, from young as seven all the way up to pros, uh, whatever intermediates, whether it's soccer, basketball, baseball, all the sports. And basically I try to get people, you know, moving the way that they need to. My motto is change perfection um, because it's a double entendre. I want you to be able to change perfection. If you shoot from the stars, you'll end up landing on the moon. But also, uh, very good people. So chasing perfection, if you're chasing after Jesus, you're going to be like that. That's going to be the thing that you want to do. Helps you out in your life. You know, I, I, I've been through a lot of stuff. So I thought I'd help you guys. want to be able to you know, maintain and get as far as possible. So be able to do what they do as long as possible. So,
good. So, is that just to prevent any injuries from happening and all that? That's the most important thing, right? For sure, for sure. Like, I'm saying durability and endurance are the two key points for what I do. Because that's how you stay doing what you want to do. I've known this problem before. Okay, if you get hurt, you're not going to be able to play. Okay. That's good. Yeah. So, yeah. So, is there anything you'd like to show us? I can show you guys a couple of points. Okay. Things like, I mean, when it comes down to like the first thing that I start off with, we start off with um, ball shooting drills. We do that every morning, but we're going to form shooting and everything like that. And then there's a couple of basic drills called uh, coordination and things like that. But uh, okay. yeah, I can show you a couple of things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. Let's do it. So we start with, especially with our higher level guys, with their uh, high school, I mean, even middle school and stuff like that. We start off with dribbles. Like that. And then we get into a lot more skill specific because we're talking about like, like 
a center or a point guard or a small forward or whatever the situation is, we typically kind of go skill specific. And then from there, we kind of go into our general drills. We work on shooting, we'll do three pointers, we'll do mid ranges, we'll do pump fakes, we'll do fades, we'll do big shots, all of those types of things so that we're able to make sure that those people have the full arsenal of the game. If we only teach them one thing of their game, when they get to higher levels, they're not going to be able to know how to guard those people and they're not going to know how to get out of certain situations. So I try to teach them, like I said, to be as good as possible for as long as possible, learning all of the things that they can know what to do. I'd like to go back to something you brought up earlier. Uh, you mentioned something about going over the fundamental key position. Big man, point guard, forward. Now, we, it's a good thing that you mentioned that. A lot of, a lot of these uh, younger guys like to play all service shooters. Right. Even the big guys. Right. And you don't see them playing you know, low post or anything anymore. Right, right. So, it's a good thing that you bring that up. I'd actually like to see the game get more exciting. And back in the days, that's when it was really exciting. You see guys posting up, dunking on guys. Or, now you have guys that are centers trying to shoot from the perimeter, and it's kind of boring now, but... Well, the, the majority yeah. of the reason that happens is because they don't have that skill set to be able to come inside. They learn how to shoot the ball before they learn how to move the ball. So, for example, let's say you have somebody that wants to play ISO. They're not going to be as confident if they're like 6'4", as a, as a middle schooler, 6'8", as a freshman or a sophomore, to come inside and be able to handle the ball the way that... That's why I teach them those types of fundamentals. Because if they're comfortable moving the ball, they won't be comfortable coming into the post. Or they won't be uncomfortable coming into the post. Because they'll be able to guard the ball as they come into the post. When they spin, they're not going to sit there and be like, I don't know what to do. They're going to be able to come off the move, be able to move the ball, pass the ball, be able to be agile, and all of those other different types of things. And then it becomes a situation where now they're versatile. They don't have to be, just be a center. They can be a stretch big. They can play the point at certain times. They can be able to, you know, push the break. All of these other different types of things. Because in college, you want to be able to play a position. If you can't play every position, you won't be able to be picked for a position. Because if you want to be a point guard, and you're six foot four, and you only know center moves, because in high school, you were the tallest guy, you're not going to necessarily be able to be put at point guard because you don't necessarily know how to play the point guard, you know, the position. So that's why I try to teach a lot of these guys, especially when they're younger, how to do all of these types of things. Because once they know all of these types of things, they have the best chance of being able to be on a team and playing a role. And that's what we're doing. Basically, you, you train everybody to play all positions, which I think is excellent. Because now, you're, like you said earlier, really, you know, eight from stars and you can land the move. Exactly what I see. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And also, if you know how to play all positions, you know how to guard all positions. And that's the thing. Defense and stamina are going to be the two things that set people apart. Your skills can be phenomenal. Your talent can be phenomenal. But if you can't play defense and if you can't run, you can't be on the court. Because it's two sides of the ball. Okay, I try to teach them how to know every single position against who they're playing and every single position about themselves. So now, if you play something, you know how to guard it. If you play point, you know how to guard it. So if you're able to guard one through five, you're going to be the most valuable on the team. That's true. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, my coach used to teach us that back in high school too. He taught us how to play every position. He made it very important defense. Right, right, right. Very important. You can be the most talented player, but guess what? You have no defense, right. you can still lose the game. Right, right, right. right. You know, I, and that's something that happened. That actually happened to us before, you know. And it's really bad. You see it happen a lot of, oh, a lot yeah. of times. Oh, yeah. In high school basketball nowadays, you see a lot of guys, they'll go up and they'll be up by 10. And they have like three minutes left. And guess what? They come back and that's all it takes. It could be it could happen all in one minute. I've seen that happen before. And yeah. I think I think a lot of the times when I'm teaching these skill specific things, the main thing that I'm trying to focus on, because it's hard to do those things. Especially when you're six four and you don't have coordination. I try to teach mindset. If you have that dog in you, if you're able to push through, if you're putting your blood, sweat, and tears on the court, there's not gonna be something that stops you. Because a lot of these times, you know, there's a lot of guys that sit here and they'll play and they'll be fancy, they got all the moves. They get punched in the mouth and they don't know what to do. They sit there and they're like, ah, I don't want to play. They start looking to the refs, they start looking to the coaches. And it's like, you know, that's not going to be the people that should be dictating the game. You should be the one that's dictating the game. So if you know how to get punched in the mouth and you know how to get back, if you know how to be tired and get knocked down and get back up, you're going to be able to be the most valuable player on the, on the court. But a lot of these guys, you know, that's what I'm trying to instill in them. Because that dog is going to always come out in every single situation. Perfectly said. I couldn't agree with you more. And, uh, do you have anything else you want to add to that? Um, again, you can follow me on Instagram at underscore it's just Mike. You can follow me at Wiley Athletics. You can go hey, to my website. Hey, one more time, one more time. Loud and clear. All right, so you can follow me at underscore it's just Mike. You can follow me at Wiley Athletics. 
Uh, you can go to my website at wileyathletics.org. You can look at it, look us up. We have a podcast called the Open Mic Podcast. It's me, my videographer Ricky at, at Film by Ricky. My other videographer Zay at It's Right Away, and then um, one of my good friends Corey. Um, and then we we just talk about a lot of different things, a lot of sports talk, a lot of you know philosophical talk, everything that you guys want us to listen to or talk about. It's up to you guys. So tune in, and we got a lot of stuff coming soon. All right, Mike. Thank you for coming on the show. Appreciate you. Yep. Why the athletics? Yes, sir. Check yes, them sir. out. Let's go. All right, we back. We back. Hey, y'all like that. Just watch the video. Yeah, that video was live as hell. Those two people in there doing all that shit is real. So what are y'all going to do? So, Callie, give them an explanation what transpired in that. You know? Well, definitely, we uh, we were, uh, was, were getting a breakdown on how he uh, trains. Look at the people, Callie. How he trains. And uh, he was uh, basically going over fundamental stuff of uh, basketball drills and everything. And, uh, yeah, and he was promoting his business. Right, yeah, he was fun. doing uh, what's it called? Uh, widely athletics. Widely athletics. Yeah. So where's that located? Much. What's that? Where's that located? Wiley Athletics. And who's the name of the person we're even talking about? Mike Wiley. Mike, Mike, Mike Wiley. Wiley. Okay. The Wiley Athletics. Wiley Athletics. Yep. Yeah. In Tampa. In Tampa. Oh yeah, we got some. We got some footage. Yo, you, you could. Yo. Oh, FYI, Mike is one of the dudes that's definitely gonna be trying out for the basketball team. Um. Yo, y'all, y'all better, y'all, yo, y'all out there that's trying out for team, yo, that's a dangerous kid right there. Y'all, y'all sit under him, yo, Ooh. he'll dunk. He'll, he'll dunk on you. Yeah, yo, Ooh. and he's like, shorter than us. Yo. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, oh, he's got some Yo, hops. he got some hops. He got some ups. He got some ups. Hey, some ups, hey we got a clip of him. You guys will see him in a bit. Yeah. Are we going to show it right here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We go, so, let's show the clip, like, right now? Yeah, we're with him dunking, yo. Check let's it out. Let's go. Yeah, so I got to get right. Nah, I need to be on that side. I got to see you coming. I told my planters for sister this, whatever dead ass is. But on Sunday, bro, I worked went worked out 4 a.m. and then like and then decided to come and play basketball. Yeah, bro. Not too much. I I, I need... was like, I gotta get my miles in. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I got my miles. I got my miles in this morning. I hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Right there. Ooh. You want to be like Mike? That's how you do it. Why the athletics? Another old man on the court that be playing with me right here. Stretching, that's what we do. Guys, twitch muscles. My eyes ain't doing shit. I ain't doing shit. I ain't doing shit. You back. How y'all like Damn, that? Damn, bro. He's like, got up. Yeah, he got up. I'll foul you. He's got up. Hey, he's still gonna dunk on you. And you foul him, he's still gonna dunk on you. It's gonna have to be an one. Yeah. It's gonna have to be an one. Hey, he's gonna posterize you, man. Well, fuck it. We, we don't want to get posterized. He, the poster gonna be his ass at the ER. Yeah, I plug that. Take, <laughs> yeah. take a picture after man. Take, take a. It'd be a three time picture. It'd be a, a, a oh, dunk, man. the foul, and what happened afterwards. But he does got ups. Oh, he, he does. does. Yeah. Got he got mad ups. Make sure, make sure y'all show that clip. Well, yeah. well, oh yeah, he yeah. got he got a couple times. Yeah. Yo, you know what's the Did funny like thing about the video clip? Did y'all notice? Yeah. Did y'all notice that as soon as we started recording, how many people yeah. just started popping up in the gym? Y'all see that, bro? Y'all oh, people yeah. love clout, man. Y'all y'all y'all, y'all clout chasing. Clout chasing. Why would we were there, <laughs> bro? Okay, okay, so because because you know the sneaker heads want to ask the sneaker shoulders this: Why weren't we contacted to know about the basketball thing? We kind of were we, we informed we about your guys' like we're left out. basketball activities. Well, we feel left out. What's hmm. good, Tampa? We 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 comment on Jay Swift. Technically, <laughs> y'all wild. Technically, we want to know how y'all left us. It was supposed to happen on Monday, but unfortunately, I was injured. Uh-huh. Injured. Hey, I got a question, Steve. Because last week you said you were with Laura uh, yes. the whole time working out. As obviously she's not going to make it today, which we miss her. Is she coming today or something? Laura's not coming. So let me fill your eye in on Laura. Laura, let me fill. Laura, Laura, Laura. Right, 
and this is how we know if you watch the show because then you'll hit me up talking crap to me. Yeah, we're talking. See, and that's that's how I know Chris didn't watch the show because Chris didn't hit me up talking shit to me, and I'm just waiting for him. And we know Chris got that that dark yeah, body. Yeah, John. Let me. Don't stand on nobody's head. We know. Wait, he ain't coming through. No. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing Yo, it. Yo, no, I'm sorry, nobody for real. Yo, Laura is Laura's technically is at the gym. Well, you know what? She's probably already leaving the gym right now, but she's been focused on the Toy gym. Story? Oh, yeah, that's Toy Story right there. That's that jump off, yo. Switches on the different ones, yo. Oh, we got Buzz Lightyear in the yeah, back. Let's, let's see if y'all can catch that. Oh, it's right too late. I just got Andrew on that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go, right there. Snake yo, come on. I, kind of I, I like, haven't even watched Lightyear yet. And I don't think I am because I heard some weird stuff about yeah, that. Yeah, it was kind of racist. Wow. See, we're going to talk about that in What's Good Hollywood. It was kind of racist. He let the black people die in that movie. Yo. Wow. Damn. I gave up the scene. You let them die? Yeah. What's wrong with you? Because he buzzed. Bro. Bro, hold, hold that. Because now we're going to talk, talk about buzz, letting people die, and we're going to talk about Roger. We gonna, yo. Roger, Roger. <laughs> Roger, you ain't going to get me. Oh, Roger. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yo, <laughs> thank, you, thank you for watching What's Good Tampa Bay. We will be back. Wow. We out. Yeah.